can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at the general cryptocurrency market. The last 24 hours has seen a huge, huge dump in the cryptocurrency market. WG gains across the board, but today, WG losses across the board. Bitcoin got to as low as $60,000. Ethereum dumped to as low as $2,400. Fear has returned back to the cryptocurrency market and liquidation has crossed over $500 million. We take a look at news stories going around the cryptocurrency market. Why is the market experiencing a huge dump? Are we still going to see that long-awaited alt-season pump? Is October cancelled? Are we going to see all coins pumping in October? Or maybe this is dump October. Let's get down to business. Over the last one week, the all coin market has been going sideways. Over the last one week, we've seen some huge, huge gains in the market. But guys, yesterday huge huge dump across the board yesterday we saw a lot of liquidations in the cryptocurrency market the market was getting excited we had been seeing pumps on a daily on a weekly time frame all coins were pumping meme coins were pumping at some point in time we were due a pullback and bitcoin rallied above its 200 day moving average i told you guys i was targeting bitcoin to get to that 64 dollars level we've talked about it ever since when bitcoin was in fifty thousand dollars we're expecting bitcoin to rally back to its 200 day moving average and bitcoin even got to six six thousand dollars guys that was a 26 percent rally in 21 days but everything that goes up at some point in time will have a dumped gobbling town and since the 27th of september 2024 we've seen bitcoin dumping aggressively to gobbling town losing nine percent of its value in four days and that nine percent dumping bitcoin guys led to some huge huge liquidations that nine percent dump in bitcoin led to fear coming back to the cryptocurrency market just last week we saw grid return back to the market just last week we saw all coins pumping aggressively a lot of all coins that are performing bitcoin meme coins were going crazy if you go on a monthly a lot of those all coins are still up double some of them triple digits on a monthly on a yearly all coins are doing very fine but the problem we have is that the last one day and the last one week we look to be slowing down the last one day in particular saw that huge huge dump and that huge huge dump led to a lot of people losing huge huge sums of money in the past 24 hours more than 154,000 traders were liquidated with the total liquidation coming in at 525 million dollars the largest liquidation order happened on binance one trader lost 12.6 million dollars betting on the price of bitcoin be careful out there guys you don't want to lose your hard hard and money the bulls lost more than 450 million dollars yesterday the bears lost only 72 million dollars liquidations in the market got above half a billion dollars that's crazy to see let's take a look at some new stories going around the cryptocurrency market why do we have that dump why are we seeing all coins tanking what is the next step for the all coin market there's political tension in the air israel iran the usual suspects we have been seeing a lot of tension in the middle east and the market answered yesterday but guys we already see early early signs of this dump coming when meme coins were pumping when all coins were going crazy history has shown us that's always been a good time to dump and that's exactly what we did australian fed decipher seed phrase to assess suspect crypto bitcoin ecfc's bs outflow in the month as middle east tension surge over 80 percent of 2022 crypto startups are still kicking desperate market chaos and this hacker pleads guilty to stealing $37 million by cyber intrusion. Bitcoin tanks go rebounds as Israel vows Iran will pay for attacks. The price of Bitcoin fell about $4,000 after Iran fired some 180 ballistic missiles and Israel conflicting, escalating the conflict in the Middle East. Commodities including gold and crude oil rose as spec of war looms in the Middle East. Still, Bitcoin is moving in the opposite direction, leading to renewed debate whether bitcoin is a safe asset i don't believe bitcoin is a safe asset guys i believe bitcoin is a very very liquid asset you can get your money anytime you want to get it that's why when there's any little tension you will see bitcoin going for that huge huge sell-off but i just believe this is a dip before the final pump that has been the messaging on this channel for quite a while right now i believe we're in the final dip before the final pump guys don't get carried away the next few weeks are going to be very very crazy the next few weeks are going to be very very awesome 
we're going to see all coins pumping at the same time we're going to be seeing some of these kind of big dumps happening maybe daily maybe weekly but all coin season indexes were still on track to have a very great a very wonderful year the all coin season indexes right now we're not in all season we're not in bitcoin season we're halfway there all coin season means guys when more than 75 percent of the top 50 coins are doing better than bitcoin on a monthly time frame we're seeing a lot of all coins do better than bitcoin we're very very close to an all coin month hopefully we'll get there on a seasonal time frame very very soon ethereum the king of all coins in the cryptocurrency market got to as low as two thousand four hundred dollars we have seen ethereum get to as high as two thousand seven hundred dollars ethereum didn't get to 200 day moving average just like bitcoin we saw bitcoin uh, from the 6th of august 20 2024 when we had a wonderful japanese carry trade dump we saw bitcoin rally back to its 200 day moving average but we have not seen ethereum do that ethereum could only rally up 29 percent shy of its 200 day moving average bitcoin dominance had a pump to the upside a little pump to the upside but i've been watching bitcoin dominance closely over the last few days over the last few weeks and bitcoin dominance is just teasing us we're still expecting it to dump to goblin town guys i'm not expecting bitcoin dominance to start pumping to higher values we're still expecting bitcoin dominance to have one big dump to goblin town and maybe just maybe that big dump will coincide with ethereum having a pump to higher values I strongly believe we're going to see Ethereum have one final rally. We're going to see speculation run wild in the altcoin market. History has shown over time that when the market is ending, when we're ending, ending any relief rally, we end with a bang, not with a whimper. I don't think we'll just end how we just saw yesterday happen. But an argument can be made that the top is already in. We saw a lot of celebrities launching their meme coin. We saw meme coins pumping recently. We saw old coins pumping. FTT token is up 60% on the weekly and FTX is bankrupt already. So who is buying some FTX token or FTT token? There's liquidity in the market. And liquidity means a lot of people who have money to gamble more. The more liquid the market is, the more market participants like to gamble. So that crypto market cap sits at a 2. One to a trillion dollar level. We saw the total crypto market cap getting to its 200 day moving average. We saw Bitcoin getting to its 200 day moving average for some weird reason, guys. Ethereum didn't get there. Hopefully, we're going to get that pump and hopefully, we're going to see Ethereum start outperforming Bitcoin. If you go to the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation chart, Ethereum is still down in Goblin Town. This is where Ethereum was trading way back on the 5th of August 2024 against Bitcoin. It has been ranging for 58 days. If we get that pump, to Ethereum's 200, the moving average against Bitcoin will see Ethereum rallying by around 21%, and Ethereum can even go to the 0.048 h ratio level. Let's go back to the news stories going around the cryptocurrency market. Crypto group Coppers launches bid to stop blockchain patent trolls. Proton says Swan's Bitcoin lawsuit is fatally flawed. Six dismissal. And Solana dApps volume increased by 46% in a week. It sold. To $180 the next stop. We've talked about Solana multiple times on the channel, guys. We don't believe Solana will get to new all-time highs, even though I believe we might see us rallying towards $160. I told you guys the $160 level, I think, will be the line in the sand for Solana. We've gotten rejected at that level multiple times. Right now, we've also gotten rejected there. So maybe just maybe if we rally one more time, Solana can get to $170, $180. Maybe we can plus the $160 level. But as things stand, $160 is still the final boost for the Solana price chart. Bitcoin metrics reset and points to a major move in Q4. That's what, an analyst has, that's what the analyst is saying. Hopefully, that move is in the right direction because, guys, Bitcoin could easily move in the opposite direction in Q4. And that will still be a very, very big move. The analyst say Bitcoin prolonged downtrend reset is key metrics. Key metrics setting BTC for, for a stellar Q4 performance. I argue that... Bitcoin's uh, RSI didn't reset, Bitcoin metrics didn't reset, Bitcoin's metrics is just showing weakness and that weakness is going to lead to a very, very downtime Q4. But only time will tell, the bulls and the bears can be right at the same time. One set is going to be right over time. The last six months, the market has teased both the bulls and the bears. So we don't know who have been right, who have been pumping, who have been dumping, who have been going sideways. But Q4 is proving to be very, very awesome. We already started Q4 with a bank. We stay October with a dump. So hopefully, we are going to see some explosive works in the coming days and the coming weeks. Bitwise has failed for an XRP ETF. CME Bitcoin Friday futures launch with 31k contracts on day one. And MHC Digital Cycle collaborates to expand USDC address in APAC region. Nasdaq Hashdaq files amended S1 for Nasdaq Crypto Index US funds. Let's head back to the chat, guys. 
The oil coin market is around $605 billion. The oil coin market also got to its 200-day moving average. The oil coin market has been doing well. We're seeing oil coins outperforming Bitcoin. Hopefully, we'll see alt season. Hopefully, we'll see that epic, epic alt season pump before the end of the year. I'm a believer in oil coins. Major market participants also believe in oil coins. We have thousands and thousands of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is just one. Ethereum is another one. Solana is another one. We still have thousands and thousands of them. If you take a look at what has happened over the last one month, the biggest gainers have not been Bitcoin. Ethereum was Solana. We have had Sui up 136%. We've had Tau up 107%. Dog we had up 73%. And the list goes on. We're going to see a lot of crazy oil coin pumps in the coming days and the coming weeks. At the same time, a lot of market participants are expecting outrageous, outrageous price point. And guys, that's why I believe uh, it will be hard to sell the top. And that's why I believe a lot of people will be get, uh, a lot of people will be left shorthanded. A lot of people will lose the pump because guess what? The average person in the market is waiting for a 2x, a 3x, a 4x, maybe a 5x. But I don't think many of these all coins are even going to pump that hard. The total all coin market, if it's going to go up 100% from where we're currently trading right now, we need to see the total all coin market around $1.2 trillion. And I don't think the economic conditions in, in the world is suitable for crypto pumping. The Fed has started cutting interest rates. Historically, that's not been good for markets. Anytime the Fed starts cutting interest rate, it means there's a big, big dump ahead of us. The Fed has started cutting interest rate. The next cut will be happening in November. Will that dump happen before November? All the time we tell. But don't get scared too much, guys, because before we have any dump, we always have one pump, and that pump can always take us to the moon. Drop your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Where do you see the crypto market heading to in the coming days and the coming weeks? How bullish are you on all coins? Do you think this is the beginning of the dump? Do you think the top is in? Or is this just a dump that you have to buy the deep because we'll start pumping to the moon? Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video and anytime I go live. Remember guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Invest for the long haul. Don't get too scared. Don't get too greedy. See you guys in my next video. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.